When I met you, you yes. weren't a cook. I wasn't. So what happened? The person who taught me how to cook, the first time I was exposed to him, uh, Chef Roy Choi, was through you because you brought the Kogi truck to the set, to the Iron Man set. Today we're going to do Cuban sandwiches, and this was the recipe that was sort of the central thing for the movie Chef. Nice thin slices. Always curl your fingers. Tell your tell your audience that you don't want them to. You tell them. Yeah, curl your fingers. You don't want to go to the emergency room. I never went to cooking school, so no. I've had a few accidents. You've had a few. Mm -hmm. okay. That is That's just it. beautiful. Yeah, like there. Did we do it? Okay, mm. good. There's a lot of butter in this recipe. Is that Great. okay? Great. Yes. Oh, brush like technique. I'm doing well. I'm doing the goop way. I love it. Normally, I would just do a squeeze bottle, but we like to keep it classy here. We'll get this going. Oh. Now, why do you Three fry the pork? Just to get the browning, and it gets the flavor a little bit more complex. Look at that. Oh, man. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at that. All crispy. Always mustard, not mayo. And always from corner to corner. And then we go with the cheese, Ooh. the pickles. I'm going to go a little diagonal there. Oh, there you go. Give it that special goop flair. This is the fun part. So you're buttering the grill. And then you want to also get the top. OK. So it, it, there's a lot of butter going on here. I'm not going to lie. And then just sort of rest it. So it's starting to go. You got to be patient. Oh, you want to get it just right. Sure. Sometimes it takes a few to get going and figure it out, like okay. pancakes. Oh, sure. My father always threw out the first pancake. Bruce though. did? Always. So I always throw out my. So your father was the cook? My father was the cook. He had a recipe that he started with from the joy of cooking, but uh -huh. then he moved so far away. Sure. So I had to test the pancakes right. a million different ways until right. I figured out what he did. Right. And the day that I got it right and yeah. I ate the pancakes, yes. I was inconsolable. <laughs> like I that's cried amazing. for like an hour. I, I think that's to, good. I to me, I'm I think cry right I now. think you do. I think you got to do that sometimes. I think that's part of the that's part of the journey. All right, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. That's look looking that. good, right? That looks unbelievable. So here we go. Now, normally, you just cut it sort of on a bias like that. You're a really good cook. Thank you very much. I'm going to goopify your Cubano. There's going to be a drawing of one? <laughs> how do you do this? How do you make this healthy? You're going to see. So what I'm going to do is marinate some boneless, skinless chicken. Got my ginger. I'm going to grate some garlic. Add <laughs> some tamari. Ponzu. A little bit of toasted sesame oil. Oh, that's good. Leave this to marinate for an hour or more. So I'm going to make a little Asian slaw. Easily done. Watch those knuckles. You make latkes. Oh. You always have grandma's knuckles were in there. Bubba's knuckles. Take a bok choy. So there's a proper chiffonade there. <laughs> Scallions, cilantro, rice wine vinegar, toasted sesame oil. Nice. You want to mix that up for I'd me? I'd love to. You don't need the sandwich, you just eat that. Some nice, light, neutral vegetable oil. There we go. So now I have a spelt tortilla, Chinese mustard. Wrap this up like a little burrito kind of thing. Yes. I'm putting ghee, so a little clarified butter. Okay, now I'm gonna put it down. A little bit of veganaise with some sriracha and garlic. Look at that. Mmm. That's great. Yes! Thank you for coming to our group. To, I love you so much. Come back. I will. Well, I'm the first time I finish this. We don't have to film the whole thing, I'll just eat it. <laughs>